but even greater than that, we are here to celebrate Jesus. We are here to make sure that our hearts and our minds are focused on Jesus and what he has done for us. We are ever so grateful that he has kept us from Sunday into Sunday. And we are ever so grateful that he did not allow her harm and danger, seen and unseen, come unto us. But even if it came, we thank God for the blood of Jesus. For surely it has never lost. 
that is so good. I don't know about you, but I'm just grateful to you this morning. Right. This time of celebration, amen. We honor the Lord because he's brought us from a mighty mighty mighty. Amen. We want to honor the Lord this morning. Help me sing this. I am grateful for the things that you have done. Because we can't figure out what 
coffee going dry. We're late to church because we got more clothes. We got to figure out what we're going to wear. God has been good to us. And we owe him our best praise. We owe him all the glory. All the honor that belongs to you.
We ask the first that you would cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yeah. Father God, if there's anything in our heart that's not holy, we ask that you would remove it right now, Lord. Yeah. And that you would create in us the right heart, the right yeah. spirit. Yeah. Father God, that we can go to our next level with you. Yeah. Our Father, we just want to thank you for last night. Yeah. How you washed over us, protecting us yeah. from all danger. Yeah. And then early this morning, if nobody but you had woke us on time. Then closed us in our right mind. Father God, we didn't get up this morning and go to the toilet to wash our face. It's all because you closed us in our right mind. And now, Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you will look up on our situation right now, Lord. Somebody needs for this and somebody needs you for that. But whatever it is, Lord, we ask that you will touch right now, Lord. Father God, we ask that you will bind, defeat, defeat, and destroy anything that's trying to come up against your people right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise today. Because somebody in the hospital, we not ask you to go there because the record is you are already there. Father God, but we ask that that mighty hand will touch right now, Lord. Heal all over this world. Somebody dealing with some sickness right now. But they trust in you, Lord. Somebody, Father God, was told not to get up out of the bed and come to church. But Father God, they did like the woman with the issue of blood. Press their way out here to get a miracle today. In the name of Jesus. And Father God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you abide the need and defeat anything that's trying to come up against your people right now. We pray that favor, rest, rule, and abide over their life. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you'll be able, that we'll be able to receive the word today. And that we'll be able to move to our next level right now. And Lord, we know there's somebody in the hospitals, somebody in the nursing home, somebody in the household is calling on your name. But only you, Father God, can fix this thing. In the name of Jesus. If ever anybody needs your Lord to fix it for them, just raise your hand and tell them thank you right now. All over this house, come on and give God a praise right now. Somebody ought to praise him. For what he can really do in your life. Somebody ought to praise him for what he's already done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your protection and your covering, Lord. Thank you right now in Jesus' name. Let your church say amen. Get ready to come to the table, knowing what this. 
this table represents knowing that the suffering of the cross. When we have walked through the Gospel of John as we approach this season of celebration, we cannot negate the fact that if it had not been for the cross, none of us would have this freedom, this salvation knowing that the Lord knew what we needed. And in due time, he provided for us what we needed. And we thank God for the blood of Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Lord God, we thank you now. We thank you for the table and what it represents. Now, Lord, as we partake of the broken body, shed of love, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord, we take it in celebration of you, celebration of the act of Calvary, Lord. We thank you. For your resurrection power. In the name of Jesus we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Disperse the elements, please.
was the blood. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. The blood came streaming down.
listen, the Lord is good. Good to see you all. Good to see you in the church today. And uh, God is good. God is really good. God is good. Really good. He really is. He really is good. He really is good. Listen, we have a uh, order of worship which we care nothing about. <laughs> which we care nothing about. And I, I want them to come in this order. Barbara Johnson, Deacon Byron Pendleton, and then my other boss, um, federal boss, um, William C. Harris Jr., they will come and um, we'll talk about they passed it. And I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Harris is pastor by proxy. Um, but they will come in that order. Preacher, 
He is one who is chosen by God to bring souls to Christ. Thank you.
Then he said, Fool, hand me the phone. <laughs> that was the number. Michael, Adrian. I said, You know that man? <laughs> he said, Man, listen, Michael West will kill you dead and then resurrect you. <laughs> so today, I have a saying that I tell my sons and daughters when we go to the preacher conference. Today I come here to die today. Because there is a preacher in the house. And the Bishop Michael A. West. And I will suffer this other time. And I'll be quite blessed as the next voice you hear. Be that a Bishop West.
He made me whole. I just love the true music of the church. Yeah. Allow me to be me this morning. And I hope you can get with me because if you don't, I'm going on anyway. I got a habit of doing what God said do. I'm a, a, a Dick and Jerry. I got a habit of doing what the Lord said do. Amen. I appreciate people, but you know I'm beyond celebrity. Praise God. It's time to worship in the Word. You know, I, I thought about uh, something Jesus would do in his methodology. Jesus would ask sometime, Pastor, he, he said, would you be made whole? They were looking for healing. But you can be healed. And not hope. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, you, you're going to have to be blessed by the word. You know, if it hits me, I, I may go in a certain direction. But, but you see, I, I, I'm a meat man. I love gravy. But I'm a meat man. Meat satisfies my, 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 my desires. Amen. And the meat of the matter is, uh, 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 Jesus uh, is able to save, which is a form of healing. Because he heals from a sin-sick nature. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. But on the same hand, he's able to make you whole. Yeah. Meaning complete in him. Not only are you feeling better, you are postured to do better. Do I have any witnesses in the house? God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Pastor Darian Jones, God bless you today on your anniversary. To the Board of Deacons and to all of the ministry administrators, to my spiritual family that's present with me this morning, to all of you, I greet you in the joy of the Lord Jesus. I will not be before you long. It's not as though you need a preacher. You have a well-equipped young man. And I'm forever reminding him to advance the equipment. This thing has become increasingly about popularity, power, and health. But the truth of the matter is. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is able to save from the guttermost to the uttermost. Jesus saves. Amen. So we bless you today in this anniversary. And I want to call your attention this morning briefly to the 12th chapter of the book of Hebrew. Hebrew. Bless the Lord. Verses 1 and 2, and my textual compilation will come from verse 2. I'm going to anchor it in two, but let us read one and two. God bless you, Brother Harris, Brother Henry, Brother Paul. We see all of you out there to celebrate the man, the man of God. God bless my extended family that is part of you. Wherefore, seeing 
we are all so compass about with such great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily, 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 effortlessly beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Now listen, verse 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And I want to stop right there. We'll get back to it, but I want to stop right there. And I simply want to say by way of subject, stay focused yeah. on God. Yeah. Tell a neighbor, this is good for the pulpit and the pew. Yeah. Tell a neighbor, stay focused yeah. on God. Yeah. We're living in a day when, 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 yeah. when many things are vying for your attention. Yeah. And your distractors, detractors, and distractions can become many at a moment's notice. You can have your mind set on one thing. And before you know it, an interference in the etheric or in the air will cause you to be focusing on something else. I wish I had just five more people to know what I'm talking about. It made my spiritual mentor, Paul, say one day, when my desire is to do good, Yeah. 
Job. But I see David here saying, where shall I go? To flee from his presence. Where can I hide that he is not? If I take wings of the morning and fly up into the utmost parts of the heaven, he's there. Hallelujah. If I should make my bed in hell. There. Even in the darkest of night, it might seem to cover me from man, but it's light before him. Hallelujah. So intuitively, God will lead you. That's in that 11. And then there's a sensitivity in the number 11. Sensitivity, sensitivity, a, 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 a sense of compassion. I heard somebody say this morning, he gives you pastors after his own heart. And a pastor after the heart of God has to be sensitive. I've learned a few things in this short time I've been pastor. I haven't been pastor in long. 52 years this year. Hallelujah. But I've learned that there are people you can handle a little more severely than others. And then there are other, I'm talking about the sensitivity of the God-given pastor. You know when to be stern. I don't want to lose you, but I'm going to tell you the truth this morning. You know when to be sensitive and when to be stern. It's a part of the intuitive nature of God. In you sensitivity then there's awareness hallelujah there's awareness in the number 11 these three elements I'm talking about in number 11 uh, 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 awareness we must have a consciousness that when we get through shouting you see I'm an old Baptist boy amen I was telling Pastor Jones, my pastor, and I, back in the day, my pastor and C.C. Waters, anybody know their name? Yeah. A great friend. So, uh, you know, I, before this church was on this location, I knew about fellowship and with Prospect Hill. Amen. Right. And, 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 and there, uh, when we get through, and I love a good shouting time. Is anybody hearing me this morning? Yeah. Don't go sleep yet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 when we get through, glory, hallelujah. I believe in speaking in tongues. I believe in dancing. I believe in all that. I don't know who else doesn't. Fine. I believe in all that. But when you get through speaking in an unknown tongue. What are you doing with that language? When you get through hollering and shouting, how are you treating your fellow man? Questions bring us back to focusing on God. It deals with Pastor John. I'm hurrying on. It deals with uh, your progression in life. You have made great strides, but there's so much. Help me, Brother Deacons. There's so much more to do. And it cannot be obtained 
that are acquired from just celebrity and novelty. Because every now and then, there's a wave that hits the church. Bill, there's a wave that hits our lives. What are you talking about? The hymnist said, when waves of affliction. He uses a nautical term to let you know it can come in like a flood. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? If you had any Christian experience, you know, a, 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 a trouble will come. You know, I, I, I've been working on a message for my people and trying to fix it so I can say it down. Mr. Barr, the former Attorney General under Mr. Trump. wrote a book recently and I got to find a way to preach that one thing after another I deleted put one expletive come on in here and be for real this morning some of you looking at me like I sing and I know I took a bath really. And on top of bathing there, oh man, I got some Versace on me. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. But he said there's one thing after another. Hallelujah. And you know it. If you live life any length of time, it's one thing after another. Every time you think you have recovered from one challenge, here come another. It's on the hymn writer say, with waves of affliction, sweep over my soul. Oh, bless his name. 
and every sin. Some things may not be sinful, but they're weighty. A runner has to be free in order to run. Hallelujah. You don't run with shackles on your feet. Not in the actual race. You can do it in order to train and to become able to overcome a position. But when it's time to run, look at somebody and say, it's time to run. You gotta be free to run. recipe is run with patience. Everything can't get on your nerve. Sometimes you have to, for the sake of Christ, forget you got a nerve. Sister Jones and Brother Jackson is wearing you out. You gotta shift your focus. I'm coming in, I'm coming in. Uh, you gotta shift your focus. Uh huh. And the element that holds the whole recipe together. This last portion. Look at to Jesus. Does anybody hear what I'm talking about? Looking unto Jesus. Now, there's another recipe that you can line up right beside it that is a recipe for failure. What is the uh, elements of that? Right quick, leaning to your own understanding. Trying to do it your way. Puffed up in pride and egotistically matriculated. Long, y'all don't hear me. I got a, I, I, I got a doctorate, so have I. But I gotta look to Jesus. Hallelujah. I, I, my bank account is balancing. So is mine. But I got to look to Jesus. Because when I didn't have eye water, if I come from that school, I water to crowd it. Hallelujah. Uh, I had Jesus. Hallelujah. In the muddy streets of Kenlock. Uh, oh, oh God, oh God, I, I feel something here. Get ready to shift here. I, 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 in the muddy streets of Kenlock, when I didn't know how I would make it. Hallelujah. Didn't know which way to go. But I looked to Jesus. The hills from whence coming my head. In all these other sources. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's second part. Hallelujah. And then thirdly, following wrong counsel. All right. I'm closing. But I recall after Solomon had built a magnificent kingdom. And when his son came on the scene, hallelujah, he went to his elders and said, what must I do? Shall I increase the taxes on the folk or shall I let it rest? For a little while. Is anybody home this morning? 
uh, he, uh, his elders said, let the kingdom rest for a little while. They gave him wise counsel, but then he went to his cronies and his peers that didn't have as much experience as he had. And they said, check the taxes up. And it caused a dispute in the kingdom. Uh-huh, he leaned to unwise counsel and leaned to his own understanding. Hallelujah. Now, I'm here to tell you today, if you look to Jesus, you can't go wrong. Have I got a witness? If you look to the one that was wounded for your transgression. Yeah, if you look to the one that was bruised for your iniquities. Yeah, if you look to the one who bore your transgression. Jesus. Hallelujah. The author and the finisher. Tell somebody the script was written before you got where you are. Not only is the script written, it's already finished. Hallelujah. It is finished. Don't Jesus on your 
about it. You know what I'm saying? We just want to get you connected to the body of Christ. Amen.
I say that to, you know, I'm not, I'm not taking it going to top of something. But real quick, I want my brother to say something. I'm so proud of this young man, Brandon Henry, of the Henry Film Directors. Young man, I hope this all fit for him. I'm proud of him because I took him on his first house call. I took him on the first house call. We were at Wade Funeral Home. We went to the internship. And I worked at Wade Funeral Home. And I got a chance to be a part of this young man's makeup. And he's a great film director because I trained him. I was in this. I want to say something to us. Still in the I knew when I uh, cast him that he was going to give me a plug. But God bless you all. Prospect Hill to my mentor, Bishop West. Uh, to all of you all, today I want to, I would be remiss if I uh, didn't come and uh, bring greetings to my brother. This is really my friend, uh, first and foremost, before he was a pastor. And, uh, you know, I think friend is one of those things, I ain't got most of y'all that got 5,000 friends on Facebook and all that. This is a real friend. And this is somebody who I have been home and uh, ask advice. Who always calls and checks on me. And that, uh, you know, that means a lot. I, I, true story, real quick, and I'm gonna sit down. I remember when I, I was in school in Jackson, Mississippi, when I got the call that he was calling to this church, I said, Did they show you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, Y'all know his track record, but he said he's proud of me. I am extremely proud of him uh, for where he is on this church. God be glory and the best is yet to come. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Amen. You got all these undertakers. Don't die today. Don't die today. Don't mess around and fall asleep. Okay, now we're going to do something different. Instead of waiting to the afternoon service, um, my willing workers have instructed me that they want to do presentations. So sometimes I listen. So. Well, this is far back in the back. We just want to say, um, oh. <laughs> we just want to say thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for participating and helping him uh, celebrate. Thank you. 
Yeah, I got to let the liquor pass. I got to bless you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just speaking early. I was shocked. I said, look at this. It's nice. This is nice. So nice. We good? Okay, where you going? <laughs> Let's get back to work. We've been stagnant. We, we've 
got time off. So let's get back to work. Amen? Amen. Amen. Love you all. Love you all. Listen. Now, I know it's unconventional, but I'm an unconventional person. Join me for tacos. And the world level. We got beef and we got chicken. I didn't want to get fish because I ain't want the church thing. But join me for tacos on the lower level. Oh, listen. I need somebody to go to the store and get some food from your son. I forgot about getting family dollar. You can go over there for us. Thank you. And get some ice, too. Thank you, Bishop West, again. Thank you. Come on, let's stand. Let's stand. We got our service at 3 o'clock, but I know most of y'all ain't coming back, so I'm going to do it already. It's at 3. It's at 3. What's wrong? Pastor Mike Tyler will be with us. That's my brother. That's my friend. He will bless us mighty. So please, if you, if you got a new hangout with me, if you got more, understand. All right. All right. All right. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Lord make His face shine upon you and give you peace. The Lord bless you going out and you coming in His for now and forevermore. The Lord bless you, your children, and your children's children. The Lord bless every aspect of your life. Now may the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, and the sweet of the Holy Spirit rest from the mountains and from now forever. All God's people say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Franklin. Good to have you all from Memphis. I guess God bless you.